All right, this is our 2018 750i BMW, and it is bold AF. Check out the 20 inch wheels that come from the factory as an upgraded option. Speaking of upgraded options, this car has about $25,000 worth of options. It's a $120,000 and some change window sticker. The base vehicle is around 90 something K. So it's actually closer to 30, probably why I failed pre-algebra twice. Anyways, this specific example is Imperial Blue. It's got a brownish football color interior. Not sure what that's called. It looks super, super nice. Trim on the grill is obviously black has these chrome little pieces down by the fog lights, which are kind of cool. I'd probably paint those black along with the wheels and everything else on the car, but that's just me. Overall, a super, super clean example of the uh, 750i. It's got the Nero P0 Pirelli tires on it, which come from the factory and are probably the best tire you can get. They're a lot softer, so they'll wear quicker, but it's an expensive tire and it's expensive for a reason. Coming around to the back, it's got the catback exhaust which I think is actually kind of like fake, which is exactly what I would expect BMW to do, but it still performs super, super well, considering that this vehicle has a certain percentage of carbon fiber built into the chassis, which you can see right here, carbon core. Super gimmicky, also something I would expect BMW to do, but hey, if you're into that stuff, it's cool. Let's take this thing for a test drive and see how it performs. All right, so we are in the interior of the BMW 750i, and this thing is absolutely huge on the inside. Pretty much what you would imagine on an S-Class or an Audi A8. It's kind of comparable to that range, but I will say this car out technologies, if that's a word, if it isn't, I just invented it, so boom every single car that I've ever driven in this class because it's just like a million buttons, touch screens, iPad built into the back, craziness everywhere. Try to make a little bit of sense of the craziness. So this one has the Bowers and Wilkins upgrade, which is awesome because it's not like every other BMW that every 16 year old in South Florida is driving that has the Harman Kardon stereo system. This one is 3D sound, obviously. There's speakers everywhere. There's probably like 100. I don't even know how many there are, but it's pretty insane. It has three modes. It has Sport, Comfort, and Eco Pro. No one cares about Eco Pro, including me, because I'm not really looking to save gas as much as I want to save the environment. I don't think it puts that much of a dent into it, but that's for another discussion. So anyways, back to the Sport mode. Super tight handling when you're driving in Sport. Corners really well. You could take this car around a racetrack although I wouldn't recommend it for your number one race car. It's pretty incredible how comfortable it is in comfort mode. It loosens up the suspension, gives you more of that Rolls Royce ghost type of vibe where you kind of float over bumps. The stereo, again, really good. The interface system on this car is insane. It's got obviously navigation and all that jazz. It also has a built-in iPad thingamajigger in the back. I don't know, I believe it's actually an Android but it's a tablet that can be removed or it docks nicely in the center console. That's for your people sitting in the rear so that they can control seats, they can do the massage seats, they can do the climate, they can do the stereo, or if you have a driver, you can control all that stuff from back there. As far as other features on the interior of the car goes, it obviously has the front massage seats as well. The massage is like pretty nice. It's nothing like crazy. It's your typical car massage seat, which sounds super bougie, but they've had that since like 2007 in the S550. Overall, the interior on this car is incredible. I give it like a seven out of 10. I think there are cars with nicer interiors, but I think from a technological standpoint, this one is pretty outrageous. So anyways, that's the 750i BMW. Check it out on our website at exoticcartrader.com. Also subscribe to our channel, like this video, or if you didn't like it, comment below and tell me why you didn't like it and I'll be sure to comment back. Thank you and have a good day.